Alright, we're back. The sidebar is kind of fucking nuts, but, uh, yeah. Video doesn't need to be monetized. Nobody makes any money off of it. Alright, let's go talk with everybody before we head off into the Reverie Corridor. I'm sure we have a, a lot to do. Oh, We, we just have the entire entirety of uh, Crossbell available again, pretty much. Cool. Feels good to be back to guarding Orcus Tower. I can finally protect Crossbell again. I'm even more motivated than ever to keep our beloved city's peace. Hey there, are you all ready for the operation? Once you're in that tower, you're not going to be able to come back out again to resupply. So make sure you got everything you need while you got the chance. Reach the tower rooftop when ready. So Orcus Tower? Yeah. Let's investigate Orcus Tower first. I'm sure they'll give us a point of no return notification. Hello everyone, welcome to Orcus Tower's general information desk. We are nearly provide guidance on everything from day-to-day -day living for local residents to sightseeing spots for tourists. However, given the state of emergency, we're currently preoccupied providing support to the Crossbow Police and Guardian Force. That said, if you run into any inconveniences while inside the tower, please let us know. We'll do our best to assist. Same blip. I was on the upper floors of the tower when that giant superweapon fired off its laser. Given how visible Lake Elm is from atop the tower, I may as well have had a front row seat to it launching an assault in Erebonia. I sure think it could go off again in just a matter of hours. It doesn't feel real. It's gonna take that long to talk to everybody. I tip my hat to those of you who refuse to relent despite knowing the odds you're up against. Be careful out there, and rest assured you have the moral support of everyone here. Good luck. Joey. I take it Machias, Toa, and the others will be joining out on this big mission. I've gotten to know... I've gotten to know the Ethba as they visited the tower. They're not from here, yet they're fighting for our safety too. That makes me want my weight as a crossbow. That makes me want to my weight as a crossbow more than ever. What? What's happening may be terrifying, but this isn't the time to run. I'm going to stay here and help whoever I can. We found two in a single dialogue section. Hmm. Alrighty. Hey, Lecter. Uncle Dieter, you've been here speaking with Secretary Arendelle? Yes, I happen I happened upon him when while doing some intelligence gathering. We're just exchanging information on the state of things abroad. I don't have the same access to info as I did back with the old intelligence division, so I don't so don't go expecting too much. From what I've heard, Calvert is getting their forces by the border near Altair. Altair. I can also confirm that the CID operatives stationed in Crosswell City have begun to take action. In other words, we can assume the Republic has gotten window about the progress of our little operation. <laughs> that saves us the trouble of having to get in contact with them. Let's give them a good show. Yeah, I'm always up for a challenge. Oh, and as for the other countries and how they're dealing with the panic, the Berlin Rimmuth area have things out of control. So they've already responded then. They may be able to keep Calvert in check depending on how things go. We'll have to do the best with the hand we're dealt. There's no sense in leaving things up to chance. Let's use our connections to get in touch with as many prominent figures as we can. We may be able to turn, th we may be able to turn things in our favor. Oh yeah. The former CEO of the IBC must have quite the contact list. Please, it's been years since I resigned. Still, hopefully some of them haven't changed their numbers. I'll make use of what I have, have to do what I I'll make use of what I have what I have to do what I can. We appreciate it, Theater. Thank you. You needn't thank me, Lloyd. I'm merely making up for past mistakes and doing what I can to avoid repeating them. I once lived in the name of justice, rejecting a world that gave birth to pointless war. But in the end, I was merely dancing in the palm of my daughter's hand. It was all a farce. Nevertheless, my desire for a world without war hasn't changed. 
I'll do everything within my power to see that dream come true. The Imperial government's taking a wait-and-see approach, by the way. With its forces reduced since the war, it's not like it's got the stomping power to regain control of the whole situation. Still, even if the army can't step up, you can count on the Intelligence Division and the RMP's full support. Think of it as my way of answering for my actions as an Ironblood. I never intended on placing this kind of burden on you, Lecter. Oh, don't be like that. We will survive the Great Twilight. That means we're in this together. Don't get any wrong ideas about our arrangement. I'm still the scum of the Earth. I have plenty of time in a cell to think about just how much of a spineless fool I really am. Even, even my intentions of helping you are far from noble. It's simply cathartic for me. Hmm. Alright. You all must belong to the SSS in Thor's Class 7. You can take that elevator there if you need to access the roof. Okie dokie. Thirty-five at. We go here first. Got a few people. Hey, Garcia. Figures you gotta show up. This is where you ran off to, Garcia. Heard you took the members of the EDF that had returned to normal and helped and helped with the liberation mission. So these two also took part? Nah, they were here so I figured I could put them to work after the effects of that dance wore off. Some help they are, though. <laughs> Some help they are. Tough. Pretty damn useless. Okay. Good, good misspell. Why do you say that? I'm just like everyone else who hasn't broken free the effects of the dance. They're still kissing Rufus's ass. We've served under Lord Rufus ever since the Erebonian Civil War. He had the ambition of a man with a half talent and rank. You would do any you would do anything to see the future he sought become reality. And for what? We lost a great war and now our dreams have been crushed yet again. Our glorious Lord Rufus has been slain. How could we possibly change sides at this point? As men who served under him, it's our final show of loyalty to see where this all ends. You two are that devoted? It's somewhat understandable. We just earned a reputation for being even more charismatic than the proper Duke Alborea before the Civil War. You must have seen quite the dream of that man. My lord, you fell in battle. How are you here? Who's to say? Perhaps a ghost is standing before you. Regardless, I have my doubts that you truly understood what that man desired. Approval. Above all, he wanted to surpass his true father and be recognized. That's all. That can't be true, and even if it was, it wouldn't have deterred you from seeing the United Nation, a new era, crumb to fruition. Don't make me laugh. You're not revolutionaries, you're insurgents blinded by delusion. Stop and open your eyes. Your leader was nothing more than an escaped convict mounting an insurrection that threatened the entire world. A new era, United Nation, mere words meant to glorify his despicable actions, Mr. Period. It's a real hearing that come from, come from your mouth, of all people. I had no rebuttal. Maybe you were intoxicated by the idea of changing the world. I thought I understood you in a way that no one else could. How can we deny our... Our... Our delusion? After hearing all of that. Why, why did we ever agree to take part in any of this? What was the point? Well, they got through your thick skulls, huh? I hate to tell you that there are still plenty more where these two idiots came from. But don't go thinking you're some hero just because you dressed down two measly soldiers. Yes, I'm well aware. That's why our attention is on the tower first and foremost. That's right. I hope you don't mind continuing to look after people like them until we're done, Garcia. Just don't keep me waiting, Bannings. I'll do what I can to send some... Slap some sense into the remaining EDF members. This is your... This is you kids' time to shine. Like back with the tree. Go finish the job. Your kids is... But okay. But I guess you kids can technically be slangish. I don't know who you are, but you really hit me where it hurts. Maybe it's time to think long and hard about what I've been doing with my life after all. Go home and rethink your life. I feel like I just woke up from a long, long dream. 
Maybe we've been doing what we were told all this time without ever stopping to question it. Who's in here? Hey. All finished with the meeting? Yes, thankfully. We have the general gist of the operation. Now it's time to go over, over them with each division and organization. The RMP will also be providing necessary supplies for the operation. The majority of the weapons and munitions have already been delivered. Rest assured that the remaining supplies will arrive in time for the mission. Even with the help, I would be lying if I said our chances of success are high. We'll have to work together better than ever to overcome the odds again. I'll do everything I can to make this work as both this operation's commander and as the one coordinating with the other nations. I heard you were using your NGO connections to share information with the other countries. A real lifesaver. Neither my grandfather nor I have had the opportunity to do that given the circumstances. Because I'm only doing what I can to help. Speaking of connections, have you heard anything from Arteria Gaius? Yes, the church has decreed both the Retributive Tower and Elysium are special exceptions that warrant intervention. They may be the exact opposite of artifacts in the sense they could have only been produced in present times. But the other dominions have been mobilized to keep the chaos from spreading throughout the neighboring countries nonetheless. That's interesting, but not unwelcome news. Agreed, this operation is a very fly-by-night operation, but it may just succeed with the cooperation of so many different collaborators. That said, none are more key than your team. Make sure you're all ready for what's ahead. We will be, Commander. Yes, ma'am. We'll prepare as thoroughly as possible in the time before the operation. We won't leave with any regrets. <clears throat> Note added. Gaius 2. And also a bunch of other stuff. Let's see. Thomas Lysander, Septian Church, Second Dominion, as well as its leader, le as well as its leader second in command. N known as the Partitioner, before revealing this, he served as one of Thor's instructors on a mission. Thomas was quick to arrive in Crosswell from Arteria after the sudden retributive tower's appearance, but put put the continent in danger. Uh, Clotilde of the Abyss, Orboro slash Hexen Clan, a child of the Hexen Clan and something of an older sister figure to Emma. She also holds the position of Oboros' second linguist, the Asher Abyss. I thought she dropped that title. Update for Ilya. Broken mask. Ilya's mask breaks off and fall and Ilya's mask breaks and falls off at the end of her duel against Rishia. This not also dispels the dance of the facts, but brings Ilya back to her senses. <clears throat> Update for Rufus. Perfect replica. Rufus meets his perfect replica, and upon defeating it, he declares that its quest for singular perfection was what ultimately made it brittle and weak. Gaius, main contact. Gaius enters the meeting meeting held at Orcus Tower as a representative of the Grouse Herder and Arteria. Update for Lloyd. The truth. I feel as though it was telling me that you are the only one capable of unraveling the truth behind all this, Lapis tells Lloyd after the tower appears. It looks like they're missing the beginning quote of that. Or beginning a uh, apostrophe, I guess. Rishia. Dancing Avengers. Rishia confronts Ilya and Crossbell and, through dance and battle, emerges victorious, restoring Ilya's self upon breaking her mask. Alright, that's everybody. everybody's new notes for now. I filled in the police on what's happening. There are still things to discuss in greater detail once, what, later once the two sides sync up. There isn't much time until the operation begins. Make sure you're prepared for anything before then. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> Rest assured, the RMP will lend its support insofar as circumstances permit. I realize that the chance of success isn't exactly high for this operation, but we must all do our, our part to beat up those beat those odds and help Crossbow come out on top. Some of Lassie's old friends are going to be helping with their liberation mission. I'm not surprised knowing the effects he could ha he can have on people. Well, let's not take the help for granted and do our part too. What? I'll be putting on back. I'll, pu I'll be putting our backup members and foreign liaisons with other countries to work right until the operation begins. The futures of all our homes are riding on this. Everything we do now counts, no matter how small. Been better, better myself. I knew we can count on you. Thanks, Toa. <clears throat> this way. It's like one person. So. I'm still not entirely sure just how much trust you should be putting in the foreign president Garcia Rossi. 
but I'm well aware that we couldn't have been liberated without them. It'd be in our best interest to keep working with them from here on out, albeit with an abundance of caution. It would be best it would be best not to use the emergency stairs. Why are there still archaisms around there? <clears throat> so is there anybody chilling on the roof? from so high up. We've got a good view of the tower from here, too. Meeting at the rooftops are signal to begin, right? Right. Best to wrap up whatever we need to do before going. Well said. To the ground floor. We got a lot of stuff to walk through. Somehow the air feels so much fresher without those damn EDF goons polluting it. But well, we might have managed to get the city back, but not out of the woods just yet. Either way, this is the decisive moment. I can't go and fight on the front lines with you guys, but I'll give my give my job my all. Hello everyone. We asked ordinary civilians not to approach the tower for now, but naturally that doesn't apply to you. You're welcome to come and go as you please. Hello everyone. If you're looking for the commander, she should still be inside the tower. Wonder if we'll find any like random side quests spattered around. I'm ashamed to admit that I sided with the Supreme Leader myself for a while. But Frostbell is our city, and it falls to its people to protect it. Hurrah for the police, hurrah for the CTF, and hurrah for the SSS. We Frostbellans believe in you all. Alright. Let me begin by saying that I commend each of you for a job well done in freeing the city. Civilian casualties and property damage are both lower than expected. We couldn't ask for a better result. However, we now find ourselves faced with an even greater task. The Retributive Tower must not be allowed to fire again or, el or else all of Zumeria will be plunged straight into chaos. I realize facing another crisis so soon with little room to breathe may be demoralizing. Nevertheless, times like these are when we must show the world just how strong Cross Bell and Resiliency is. Our pride is just as firm as any great nation, even when we don't have a state to call our own. Isn't that right? Would you look at that? Well, Pierre's got some spine in him after all. I'll say, it's hard to deny it at this point. Did you tell him I'm busy, man? I'm trying to give a pep talk over here. Now stay out of my way. Anything I say can impact the morale of our rank and file. That's the responsibility I carry as vice commissioner. Quickly, I'm terrified deep down and want nothing more than run. I want nothing more than run. Than to run away. But I can't afford to show even a current of weakness. Right, we understand. Hang in there, sir. He was putting on a, a lot on his shoulders, but I didn't realize how much of it was affecting him. He's doing an admiral job, all things considered, his body track record in particular. <clears throat> don't you have better things to do you should be you should be doing, such as, oh, I don't know, preparing for an imminent operation? You had better not screw this one up, understood? I'm expecting results, so don't let me down. <laughs> He's right, we have to give this everything we've got. Liberating the city was exhausting, but I've had plenty of rest since. I'm ready to get back to work. Can't say I'm not nervous, but we can't afford to twiddle our thumbs given the stakes. Can't let that thing fire again. Crossbell's future depends on it. Do whatever needs to be done in order to keep Crossbell safe. Part too early to be relaxing. It's 9.56. Hello, everyone. There's an emergency meeting going on at the moment in the police station. We'll play our part as best we can, so good luck out there. Thank you. I'll talk to everybody outside, and then we'll go into buildings. That's how we usually do it, anyway. What are you all up to, Emma? Is this related to that dance? It is. You're just investigating the effects of its curse-like power. 
Ellie and I bumped into them while patrolling around the city. I was also looking into how the citizens are faring as I was following the flow of the Septium veins. The brainwashing was, has mostly vanished now that the Supreme Leader has been removed and the mask has been destroyed. That's a relief to hear. I'm more worried about how you're doing. Has the assimilation phenomenon gotten any worse since the last time we spoke? No, it's not a problem for now at least. I can still control my power too. Is this really all because you faced off with your doppelganger? Nothing like this happened to Rufus. That's what's got me so confused. Not only did that other Reen's appearance bug me, but there was something off about him. It was bizarrely lifelike. I can't shake the feeling that he wasn't just a copy. Where would Reen be a special case? There has to be something to it. I imagine it's because he has a key role when it comes to the tower, but I couldn't say anything beyond that. Regardless, I agree there's something ominous at, at work that we're missing. Whoever this imposter is, we'll have to face him eventually if he's going to block our path. And when we do, we'll have to fight not just to save Reen, but the entire world. Yeah, no pressure. We did manage to overcome even the Great Twilight. We can do this. If you feel like anything about your condition has changed, you'd better tell us. Don't worry, I will. Thanks, everyone. Listen to you all, as Sashereen as ever. Then again, here I am, helping to save the world, too. Life sure is strange. Hey, C, or Crow, I suppose. Neither of us can afford to die out here. We need to keep living for the sake of our lost comrades. There's still a lot of sin to atone for. You're preaching to the choir, sister. I already died once. Oh, I know I'm not going to waste my second chance. Let's get this done. And make our old friends proud. Technically, he's died twice. Profiles updated. And there was a thing for it. Squire Scarlet. Atonement. Scarlet muses on how she is now helping to save the world, telling Crow as they speak of their fallen comrades, neither of us can afford to die out here. Could have imagined a former terrorist like me fighting to save the world. I was ready to turn to Adios' side during the Civil War, but perhaps this is fate. Scarlet, don't tell me you still... Sorry about that, I didn't mean to kill the move by bringing up bad memories. I finally got to meet the members of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front, yet here I am being a downer. Please don't remind us about that. The honor is all ours, Lady S. Ooh, should I follow Nadia's lead and give her a salute? See, you're just going to confuse her. <laughs> Party never ends with you guys. You know, I'm glad your time as C could help you out. <laughs> so you say. I managed to get in touch with Dad a little while ago. General Craig, I mean. He said the armored divisions are in a state of high alert. They're prepared to do everything in their power to help, even if they can't stop the tower with military force. Every little bit helps. Still, that's all the more reason for us to succeed with this operation so that it doesn't come to that. I couldn't agree more, but promise not to push yourself too hard, Reen. We're all here with you. You can lean on us. It's nerve-wracking to think of the futures of multiple countries hanging in the balance of the, with this mission. If anyone can pull this off, it's us. We just we have to believe in ourselves and do what we can, just like we always have. <clears throat> Vina and Grandmother look like they're up to something, but they refuse to tell me what. All they told me was to be prepared for anything. I wish they'd fill me in, but I'll face whatever comes with everything I've got. Not just as a witch, but as a member of Class 7. As long as we combine forces, I'm sure we can put a stop to this, just like we always do. Celine. This is starting to get real old. It's like my life's purpose is to spend all my days worrying my head off about you. I guess it just comes with the job. Listen, if you sense any changes, anything at all, you tell me, Capiche. At least you, at least you can do for all you put me through. <laughs> Back to investigating the flow of the spirit veins for me. I'll also need to hook up with walls so we can get a few things moving. In short, don't worry about a thing here. I've got it all under control. I might be a peon on the totem pole, but I'm still part of the Grouse Ritter. I'm happy to do what I can to help. I trust you'll do what you can't can on your end too, Father. Don't do anything that would embarrass me now, hmm? I would never. I want to look as cool as I can while defending my second home. Good to see things have worked out for Scarlet, too. 
We've got a lot of catching up to do, but that can wait wait for later around a campfire or something. My sights are set on this operation. I'll be ready when the time comes. You best do the same. Yeah, I will be. See anybody else? We got like one person wandering around. We already talked to him. And food stall. Oh, hello everyone. Big my Dow's in the middle of a conference in the Civic Center. I can't help with that, of course, but I did want to do something for him, so I came to buy an assorted tomato shake. It's really considerate of you. I'm sure he must give you and Helmer no end of grief, but I feel better knowing he has you in his corner. So please, keep looking out for him. But of course, I'll be praying for your safety, too. I bought some shakes for the Arabonians with them, too. I hope these will give them the strength to do their work. Grunge their faces all the way up, they won't be able to see shit. Roma. Yeah, I, I don't remember any of the Crossbell NPC names at all. Uh, the situation in the city hasn't fully calmed down yet, so maybe I'll have to evacuate again. Sitting around doing nothing was really starting to get to me, so here I am doing business again. If I was to recommend one of our drinks over the others, it'd definitely be the acerbic tomato shake. Once of this and you'll be ready to run a marathon. Thanks, that's a lot. Are you sure? This is rather a lot. Oh, absolutely. I know how I know how hard you're all working for the good of Crossfell. Hopefully, the intense bitterness of these will of these will bring you all together as one. Anyone who's never tried some is welcome to have a little taste too. Well, a little taste wouldn't hurt. Oh, it's bitter, but it's also delicious. You might want to see a doctor about your taste buds, girl. I can't stomach another sip. LP never ceases to amaze and disturb. He didn't seem phased by it either. If you ever want any more acerbic tomato shakes, come back here and I'll whip you some up in a jiffy. Let their bitterness fill you with the energy to overcome anything. Alright. That's all you got. Alright, let's talk with the... Let's go into the police station. Meet up with Dudley, most likely. He ain't here. Can't just give up now. Not after all we went through to take back the city. Much like during the last operation, we'll need to be flexible and adaptable if we hope to succeed. I can't say I have much experience in maritime combat, but I'll do all I can to contribute. Confirm the Yemen Defense Force's removal and apprehension. Second Division will focus on providing the support to the CGF as they begin their operations. I'm leaving the finer details to the team leaders. Do what you gotta to get the job done. Let's put an end to this and take back Crossbell. Roger, yes sir. As for you and me, Raymond, we've got a meeting with the First Division scheduled. I got it, Chief. The Division has its hands full. Let's work just as hard as they are. Good to see you, SSS. You're up against some crazy-ass tech. Who knows what might go down? We all gotta make sure we're equipped to deal with whatever's thrown at us. We free we free the city and the crap hits the fan all over again? You gotta be kidding me. But you know what? We've been through hell and high water. So I'm not giving up just yet. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. Let's head that worm my way around and find the path. <clears throat> Being held in the same room as the secretary from Calvert was an uncomfortable experience, let me tell you. I'm just glad the city was liberated a lot faster than I expected it to be. It sounds like we have the Ashen Chevalier and many of my other countrymen to thank for that. I hear Lecter Arundel and the RMP are taking part in the operation to silence that tower as well. So, as, as a Secretary of the Empire, we can't afford to sit idly by. We need to do what I can to restore peace. First things first, I need to get my report back to the Imperial government. It might not be much compared to what everyone else is doing, but I need to do whatever I can for my country. And you. I'm so glad the Evan Defense Force's occupation of the regions finally at an end. Our 
problems aren't over yet, unfortunately. But right now, I need to focus on getting the Civic Center, center ready for visitors once more. I honestly feared the worst when the city was occupied. I'm so glad Crossbell's free once more. I can't wait for this building to be full of energy and joy again. Big meeting up there. Oh, hey guys. It's good to see you all. Same to you, sir. We're going around getting ready for the operation right now. Are you exchanging information with our fellows from the Empire? That's right. I wanted to learn more about the situation there directly. I'm happy, I'm happy you chose to speak with us, too. To put it simply, the destruction of Yuno has everyone in the Empire in a state of shock. That it's issued a statement and is appealing for calm through radio broadcasts, but it's a lot to ask in times like these. I can confirm that the four great houses have just had their own remote conference as well. They've all agreed to do what they can to keep the country calm, with, Mar with Marquis's High Arms, Ragnar, and Ballad taking charge. But they will only be able to keep things in check for so long, especially when it comes to people's feelings. That's true. The war so fresh in people's memories, it's hard to imagine everyone not feeling angry about what happened. Yeah, and that anger is going to be directed right at the United Nation. By that I mean Crossbell. Right now, it sounds like people are more confused and mad, but that's likely going to change in time. I would certainly wager so. But if people start taking a hard stance on Crossbell, it's only going to play right into our enemy's hands. Humans are so foolish. Why point the finger at Crossbell when the United Nation is clearly to blame? <laughs> of course, the very idea of a United Nation is a clear symbol of humanity's foolishness in itself. I say that fully aware... Fully aware is very much something that I would think of. You sure, wanna, you, sure you wanna be the one to say that? You truly are unbelievable, Rufus. <laughs> I don't know, I like seeing how he seems to... He seems to finally have given the specter of his past the boot. I would not be so sure about that. Regardless, Mr. Speaker, while I will admit the suggestion comes from a man as foolish as any other, if you truly love Crossbell, you must follow your heart and walk the road you believe in without ever hesitating. People harbor more than just foolishness inside. There's a sort of trust that can come from using one another, too. So I would suggest you use any means you can to make your hopes a reality including using us for your own ends. Much. <laughs> That's encouraging to hear from you. Honestly, one day you will learn to be straight with your feelings. He's right, though. Feel free to involve us in achieving your goals however you wish. You'll be happy to contribute. Perhaps you're all right. Then allow me to tell you exactly what shape my dream for the future takes. I wish for Crossbell to be a state that works for harmony hand in hand with its neighbors, not one that asserts itself over them. With so many people from the other countries cooperating with us now, it feels as though my dream has already been half granted. But my, no, our goal is yet to be fully achieved. So I hope I can continue to count on you to help bring about a future where we can stride ahead side by side. Sure, of course, gladly. We will do all we can. Thanks, everyone. Oh, updates for Elliot. On patrol. While wandering around, Elliot expresses his concern for Reen's well-being and his desire to overcome their current predicament as a team. Staying vig vigilant. Emma investigates the effects of Elia's dance while also showing concern for Reen's well-being. She also resolves with caution to face the other Reen. Eusis. A conference. Eusis, in his position as acting duke, holds a video conference with the four great houses to propose they work together to minimize the chaos brewing. No update for Crow. Alright. Retalk. Oh, Adios, I was looking for ways to help out and ended up being roped into acting as, as minute take for this meeting. I don't recognize everyone here, but uh, this is a really important meeting for our relationship with the Empire, right? No, I can't be getting gold feet now. Not with Vald in town. I need to show him just how much I've grown. It's weird fe feeling. It's a weird feeling seeing little Dino working here at the Civic Center. I'm not involved, but I'm cheering you on all the same. Ah, oh, thanks, Waze, Wazzy. Once my work's done, I'm planning to go meet up with Luganov and the others. I might be able to use my position as an employee here to help out after all. 
First, I need to get those minutes on the record. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> you need to take better notes. Those are scribbles, my guy. I wonder, am I able to move anybody I want? Oh, he's locked into the leader. Got it. I was wondering if I could change the leader. Can. So what happens if I drag one of the people that are currently just in the map? Nah, never mind. We only have these people here because uh, these are the people that are not going to be found around town. Okie dokie. They think of everything. By the way, Ellie, I know the timing isn't very convenient. I think you should know that Diana called from Araboni earlier. You heard from Mother? Yeah, she must have been quite worried with everything that's been happening. Your mother wants to help in any way she can and has been gathering good staff shipped over. It's just like her. Okay, we can't let Mother's kindness be in vain. Agreed. And I've heard secondhand that Ryan has been trying to quell public concerns in Calvert as well. We can't afford to rest on our laurels. I'm counting on you young people until the very end. We won't let you down. We'll finish what, we'll finish what we started. Diana and Ryan are doing their best to help our efforts. We can't afford to rest on our laurels. I'm counting on you young people at the very end. Hey, William. Who is this really changed while hanging out with you kids? You know what? You know that? I was caught off guard when they had my Arcus 2 stolen in the capital, but now I wish I could have gotten to know you all better. Oh, I got an idea. I know the tastiest crepe shop ever. Let's go together when we get the chance. Because without saying that we'll be dragging Eusis and Rufus along. Their treat. Ooh, that's a wonderful idea. Delightful even. Here it is. It's decided then. <laughs> what was that I heard about our treat? Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? We still have a mission to complete first. Aw, oh, come on. You know we're gonna find a way to pull through somehow. So be it. If you're not confident, then I would be glad to treat everyone. Rufus. Are you being serious? Yes, it'd be good to catch up with my brother and see for myself how much he's grown. And quite frankly, I never had the chance to get to know the White Rabbit. That said, a verbal agreement hardly means anything while the tower remains standing. And here I thought you were going to be thoughtful for once. Would it kill you to be more honest with your feelings? Look who's talking, you're no better than he is, you know. Don't lump me together with him. They sure know how to go at it, but doesn't it seem like they get along to get along perfectly. I can't help but agree after seeing them like this. At Millium 2. Crepe Tour. Millium promises that she, Lapis, and the Albareo brothers go on a crepe tour as, as a way to bond after the tower falls. As a promise, once you stop the tower, we're going on the crepe tour. We can even bring Claire and Lecter along with us to, across the whole empire. I heard the seasonal crepes are, and orders are delish, too. It's going to take a whole weekend to hit up every stop, so you better pack your bags. This is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> How lively. Forget I said anything. Mutual cooperation will be essential to the coming operation. So I'll be counting on you. Even though I do find your companions to be nosy and those, sungl and those sunglasses look ridiculous on you. Do they? I'll keep that in mind. I would say we've earned the right to be curious after all we've been through. Obvious. If possible, I'd like a chance to discuss things a little more with Speaker McDowell before the operation begins. I believe my sources within the Imperial government and uses as ties to the four great houses would prove, would prove valuable. That's excellent thinking, Machias. I'll see what I can do. You two make for a productive team. I'll leave you both that. I'll leave you both to it then. Yeah, leave it to us. By the way, you wouldn't happen to have seen Pattery around, would you? I heard the general public's restricted from entering Crossbell, but I heard she managed to sneak in. She was worried about her friends at the department store and claimed to be working under me at the inspectorate. What am I ever going to do with Pattery? I doubt anyone can rein her in, but I'd at least like her to not get me fired. <laughs> the Pattery snuck back into town. Sweet. Let's find. We'll find her eventually. Where should we head to next, since we're done with this district? Yeah, let's go down to Harbor.
Ush. Fishing marker. Hey everyone, I take it the strategy meeting wrapped up? Yeah, so you're going to be patrolling the city, Kate? I am, but I wouldn't exactly call it a regular old patrol given this situation. I'm spending most of my time explaining what's happening to the citizens to quell panic and relieve their anxiety. I hope it brings everyone together besides just putting their minds at ease. Me too, after everything they've been through with the EDF, I'm sure they could use a friendly face from the CPD right now. That's dope anyway, fingers crossed. Oh, and if you're looking for Franz, he was assigned to escort some of the 1st Division detectives to the prison. The 2nd Division's top guns are helping with the prep for the big operation. It's good the city's free again, but we don't exactly have time to take a breather. I'm ready to go all out and show, show what a little crossbow pride looks like. That's a spirit. We're right there with you, Kate. We're gonna stop that tower from firing again, come Gehenna or high water. You guys are really fired up too. I like it. This one is going to test us even more than the Liberation Mission did. Let's give it everything we've got and show show what it means to be true proud cross balance. <clears throat> Where is the running man? I don't think the running man's coming back. What if we go in here? Back out here. Yep. He's making one-way deliveries. A bunch of people started shipping letters out to let people they let people know they were okay as soon as the city was liberated. It's a reminder that I have a job worth doing. Not to worry, all those letters will make it to their destination safe and sound. Good to know. Where's everybody else? Phew, I ate way too much. Food here is better than ever, and the fact they get hooked up with extra toppings means I can't resist even if I try. Well, now that my stomach's full, I need to get back to work. Work's been piling up ever since the Ebba Defense Force took over the city. Ezel's busy helping out his buddies, so I guess I'll take some paid time off. That's, a, that's all I can do, but he's my protege, so I want to cheer him on. There are quite a few youngsters in the city with a backbone, my disciple included. There's nothing life can throw at you that you can't overcome, much like my pupil walking the path of the noodle. His journey isn't over yet, but he's added in his own take to the process, resulting in some impressively thick noodles. Give him a try if you have the time. My inexperienced pupil added his own take to my old recipe, resulting in some impressively thick noodles. Firm noodles and soup made from good stock can provide vitality to the one who eats them. If only a few of my old pals from the CPD were here to try them too. Hey Koki, just got off work. When will the next batch be ready? Wait a little bit longer. The mouth feels completely different if you don't manage, manage to boil water just right. Listen to you. I can tell you learned a lot since you started working here. You really know your stuff. Well, Vincent Lazzy in the SSS. You guys here for lunch, too? Let's just say the aroma beckoned us to see what smelled so good. But that's what I like to hear. Here, just finish a fresh batch. Have some. Hard Genkosu Ramen. Wow, this soup looks so tasty that it's practically shimmering. That's my original recipe. I came up with it when I was still just a beginner. Let me know if you want seconds. I'd be happy to make more. We had our hands full serving up noodles for the CGF and police to cheer them on. You guys are preparing for a big operation, aren't you? I'm sure whatever is going down will be bigger bigger than we've ever seen before, but I know you guys will come through. Thanks, Azel. We will. Make ramen. I'm going to work my way up to becoming an intermediate ring practitioner of the Ozel School of Noodles. I'll put my soul into each bowl I search so that I can earn my very own branch cart. Please, have, please have some. You won't regret it. Intermediate rank. Feels great to be able to support the Guardian Force of Sun Grub right now. As long as there are still hungry folks around, I'll wash dishes until my hands bleed or do whatever else I can to help.
racer group. And Laura. <clears throat> hey, Laura. V. Didn't the two of you say you were going to patrol the city's outskirts? Yep. Just got back, actually. We wanted to do a pretty big monster while patrolling. Then their crew gave us a hand after they spot, spot us during their rounds, too. It's unusual to see monsters that dangerous so close to the city limits. We can't afford to ignore the monsters given what happened before the sighting ceremony. What's strange is it feels like they're popping out of nowhere. Which is not unlike the Great Twilight. I would wager the tower's influence is what's causing it. One more reason to take care of that thing. We're going to keep patrolling and wiping out monsters until the operation begins. Thanks to you two. Thanks you two. That'd be a huge help. That was only the first time we've worked work together, but you already lived up to your hype, Sylphie. And you're not too shabby either, Laura. Shame you're not part of the guild. Please, you flatter me. Our positions may be different, but the Arsade School has always held the guild in high regard. Both sides strive to protect people, after all. I, for one, welcome the opportunity to fight alongside you, and especially Fee. She's just a dose of cute, cuddly adorableness that I need injected straight into my veins. Did anyone else just hear the sound of red flags being raised? <laughs> Ayola, could you show a little restraint, please? Sorry about her, but don't worry, she's harmless. If you say so. Looks like we could. Looks like. It looks like we count on the two of you in a fight at the very least. And count, but yeah. I can vouch for that. We'll take it. We'll take care of any large monsters we see to help out, too. There's an update. Sorry for worrying you like that. I've got things covered from here. We're going to help with the operation, too. We're going to do what we can until, until things get going. We added a blip for Laura and Fee. So, Laura. Subjugation. Laura encounters a frenzied monster while on patrol, but it falls easily with the help of some bracers. She wonders if it's connected to the tower. Fee. Co-op mode. Fee bumps into Lynn and Neola by chance. Three of them take down a giant frenzied monster. Each of them impressed impressed by each other's skills impressed but yeah a monster hunt ought to make for a decent warm-up before the operation gets underway not to mention it's a great opportunity for fee and i to hone our teamwork i say bring on the monsters let's let's head at them if you're wondering where scott is he's on patrol over by amorica he promised that he'll get in touch with if he finds any large monsters out that way so he can rendezvous. You guys should take care of any any you spot on your patrols too. Which means there's probably like bonus monsters to fight. Cool. We need more lost arts after all. The title user no lights and smetic. That's one bracer combination you don't see every day. Looks like they make a pretty good team though. I think they'll be a big help during the operation. Licensed Medic. Mm. Beesh. Right. This will be good. It's a nice catch. Right. This will be good. I'm probably gonna have to look up exactly where to get each of the fish. A nice catch. Because we're missing eight. That's quite a few. Although it probably helps that uh, fishing is listed in order. Right. Rod level eleven. So we're missing like one thing, I guess. Alright. Looks like everyone's finished preparing. We'll also be done soon. It's about time to gather together and prepare to begin the operation. The Guardian Force and Police will both be departing from the Harbor District. I haven't had as much experience fighting on the water. Now it's a time to show them our crossbow spirit. We can do this. Hey, it's Rex and Nitty. Hey, Irene. You guys keep it busy out there? What's up? Things have been pretty wild ever since the Liberation mission ended. I've known you were in town, Rex, but no idea you were coming too, Vivi. Did you rush near after the city was liberated? Bingo! Then I hitched a ride with Hugo and his crew. They expedited my travel papers as a special correspondent for the Imperial Chronicle. 
plan is to cover the tower operation with Rex. Wow, you really hit the ground running. Getting access isn't hard since everything happening in Crossbell has a direct effect on what happens in Erebonia. That gives me the chance to dust off my war photographer chops and take another future front cover shot. I'll be sure to catch the moment you guys save the day, so make it a real banger. Alright, we won't disappoint. I know that together with the SSS, we're gonna put an end to this once and for all. You'd better, and get b and, and get when you get back. I called dibs on the first interview with your friend in sunglasses and this cute dolly. Ooh, someone's popular. <laughs> I doubt anything I could tell you would be fit for publication. I'm not sure why would you interview me, but I don't think there's a future where I'm in an article either. Don't sweat the deeds. Nobody knows what the future will bring. Yeah, no need to rush a decision right now. Keep in mind we'll talk, talk it over after you get back from being heroes. Updated Rivi, Vivi and Rex 1. Doors Network. Vivi, the people's voice. Vivi speaks to the Imperial Crown of the Imperials, as the Operation looms near, discovering that many of them wish to deepen their understanding of Crossbell's people and rich culture. Rex, Imperial Reporter. Rex speaks to Crossbellans as the Operation looms near, excited to relay the feelings of its citizens to Erebonians at home. Gonna accept that before we forget. Hey, it's a nine volley ship. I bet there's good fishing to be had here. We just finished liberating Crossbell, but this next massive operation will involve the efforts of everyone here. There's no stepping down now. We have to grab Crossbell's future for ourselves. And here are the ammunitions. Most of our shipments have finished coming in. All that's left is to wait for the command to begin the operation. And also, it would most likely be command, or, but uh, yeah. Not the command. Alright, let's go into buildings. Oh, the boss is in. See, the SSS has brought a fair few unfamiliar faces with them today. Be that as it may, Master Shao and Master Shin have ordered me to allow you to pass. Proceed at your leisure. Ah, the kid's back. Well, well, it's good to see you again. Welcome, members of the SSS. And to you especially, my dearest Dally. Then I heard you left Crossbell. Don't tell me you left Calvert to come back now of all times. And? So what's, what's so odd about that? I have my reasons. That said, I'm disappointed to hear my very own Heiyue conspired with that villain as supreme leader to harm you, Ellie. I know it's far too late, but you have my sincerest of apologies. Come on, Shin, you don't have anything to apologize for. As for you, Xiao, you're not the man I thought you were. Was your little scheme why you convinced Grandfather to have me sent home? Come now, you're looking at me so disdainfully. I give you my word that I did it with your safety in mind. We did temporarily cooperate with the Supreme Leader, but it was simply so we could investigate his intentions. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, as it were. Isn't our cooperation in liberating the city earlier proof of that? Stop playing coy with me. Regardless, let me say that the Retributive Tower far exceeds what we could have imagined. I don't particularly enjoy letting my enemies gain an advantage, but we simply have no answer for something like that. Now we have no choice but to lend our aid to your infiltration efforts. Because it's in the best interest to protect Heiyue, the Continent, and Master Shin, of course. I very like you, Xiao. But I suppose that's why I trust you to cooperate. You'll work with anyone if it means protecting your interests. True enough. Well, I'll give you credit for assisting with the Liberation mission. Hopefully your connections with the Republic will be useful. Ignoring Xiao, I'm thinking of getting in touch with Father, Grandfather, and my sister to ask for their cooperation as well. It's my duty to take the initiative if I'm to be the next head of the house. I give my word that I will do anything and everything to protect that beautiful smile of yours, Ellie. This, the little guy is really shooting a shot. <laughs> Thank you, Shin. I'll hold you to that. It's most unfortunate that, they were, that we were unable to look, in, look into the tower beforehand, but I hesitate to say all hope is lost. There's still 
time to right the ship, but it will take all of us doing our part. Good luck out there. Can we even talk to you? Part, uh, there we go. My grandfather's, my grandfather, father, and sister all have pulled, all have pulled Calvert's movers and shakers. They should be able to lend their help. I only wish there was more I could do for my dearest Ellie. The rest assured I return here for a reason and intend to make myself useful. Give me time and I'll produce results. You want to talk, buddy? That Sir Shun persuaded the elders to allow his return to Crossbell. I can hardly say I'm surprised. So long as he is here, we will risk our lives to keep the Master safe. Nothing too important here. Alright, crossball news service. Hey, Grace. You did what? I must be hearing things because it sounded like you just said you went to Nord to follow up on a lead about the missing prince. That's why you skipped the signing ceremony? You're out of your mind. Sorry, the info was, so, was sensitive, so I couldn't risk telling anyone. My bad. Didn't mean to worry you so much. Thanks to that, I got tons of leads on the EDS movements in Erebonia and up close coverage of Prince Oliver, scoops galore. Not that I will be able to publish much of it. Sigh. But I'm just going to cut my losses. I know better than to try and rein you in. Oh, come, oh, come to think of it, I read everything that you published in the special issue. Talk about articles of impact. Hey, I've got pride as a journalist too, you know. I just did what I could. I had to write for the special issue. I've had, I've had to write for the special issue, help with the liberation operation, and do a lot of location coverage. I'm completely beat. Come on, where's the crossbow times fire in your belly? You guys are killing it. Keep up this role, and the next special issue here, and the next special issue should be a real gem. Did you just say next special issue? <laughs> it just so happens Prince Oliver has a few tricks up his sleeve, so we're going to have more work to do. Up in Adam Reigns, we gotta scoop, scope out the perfect spot to take photos and footage from. I mean, I did hear from one of my contacts that he was up to something, but I didn't think that'd lead me to doing coverage. Wait, we're going now? Well, looky what we have here, if it isn't the SSS in Class 7. I just got back from Erebonia, but I've heard all about your operation to liberate the city. Good stuff. I'll be converting the op... I'll be covering the rest of your brave exploits from here on out, so look forward to that. We haven't seen a news report in a while. Young people these days have so much energy, and they know how to get things done to boot. Take that Rex from the Imperial Chronicle. He got some great photos for the special edition, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. Then there's that Vivi woman. I met her a handful of times, and she's impressively unflappable. Young people these... yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Man, Grace looks like a whirlwind when she gets like this. Still, glad that she's alright. I think she'll be back to her usual self in no time. The SSS is giving it their all, so we should all be pitching in in our best efforts. Yeah, gotta love the stutter. It was so good to find out that Grace has been safe this entire time. You go from all, all that to immediately writing some of the articles for the special edition. Wow. I don't know where she finds the energy. Her journalistic spirit never fails to humble me. Guess we can't go upstairs, right? The second floor contains the editorial department. Probably, it's probably best not to enter. Ed editorial. Word. Printers ca really came through for us again this time. Despite all the hassle, we like to think the articles we compiled will light a fire in our readers' hearts. There may not, there may be no rest for the weary right now, but it's times like these that I really hope, really want to get our pamp paper in front of people. No titles on the books. Hey, let's get the uh, IBC building taken care of. So that's the Retributive Tower? 
First those railway guns, then the ions. There's no end to the inventions made for war. I can't imagine Calvert is just going to sit back and keep quiet after seeing that. And all he can do is sit back and pray that it doesn't activate. He doesn't know. Can you, can you even see it from here? What you talking about? You, 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 you can't even see the tower from here, can you? Unless that's it. Right over there. It's very, very hard to see. That's, that's probably it. A weird diagonal pillar. Being able to do nothing but pray in a situation like this is so frustrating. They swear I'll protect our customers and the neighborhood if things take a turn for the worst. Hey, robot. Means Elisa's here. Or Tita. Elisa has the white one. Just when I thought our troubles were behind us, something new crops up. There's no forgiving what the Supreme Leader and his EDF have done. As an Erebonian myself, I'm ashamed. I wish I was something I... I wish I was... I wish... I wish I do something to atone for what my people have done. Could do. There's no forgiving what the Supreme Leader and his EDF have done. Yeah. Well, Elise is here, too. I was shocked when I learned that, that our former president was working with the Supreme Leader. But from everything I've heard out of the police and CGF, he rose up again out of blood for Crossbow. Knowing that, well, I'm relieved. I know what he did was wrong, but I still respect him as the IBC CEO. Isn't it former CEO? Knowing that Dieter Croy's out there doing what he can to better Crossbow inspires me to do what I can as well. I'm just about overwhelmed with how many inquiries we've been getting due to how precarious things are across the continent. But I'll do what's in my power to get back to Crossbell. Money. Heck yeah. 0.47. Or 0.4 Mira. Crossbell related stocks have been selling like mad ever since the Supreme Leader's announcement. I do hope the servers here won't go down because of it. Well, I suppose there's nothing to be done but put all my put my all into finishing this paperwork. Click, clack, clack, click. Your keyboard will go down before the servers do. <clears throat> Hi there, guys. Looks like you're gearing up for the operation, too. Yeah, I'm just doing some rounds while we're at it. Are you making adjustments to the Orbo gear? That's right, we got some help from Elisa's mom. Hmm. Or Orbo gear. It's strong. Sensible. I give it 82 points. Doesn't mean much if you don't tell us what it's based off of. So you're that autonomous Rosenberg doll I've heard about. What a fascinating existence you are. Oh wow, I'd love to take you apart and examine you piece by piece. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you would refrain from frightening her. Yeah, yeah, I was just throwing it out there. I already have a bunch of automata for testing purposes, so we can always talk about her another day. Oh boy, this lady doesn't quit. Heel told me she was stubborn, but wow. Come on, Mom. It's alright, the Professor's aware of just how vital you are for this operation, so she won't do anything. Besides, we got plenty of other things to worry about right now. Like the Orbal Gear, right? No, it's been tuned to perfection. It should be able to operate at about 120%. We've installed an escape system in the in the event of an emergency, upping pilot safety by 285 points. That goes in part with the updated monitoring system that now tracks the pilot's vital signs. So, did you mean yes then? I don't really understand the finer details, but it sounds like you've gone above and beyond here. And in such a short amount of time to boot. Well done, Professor Russell. Tita should be in... should be good to go, thanks to you. No, no, she's not. Tita, please think this over. I'm fine with you having a helping hand on the operation, but is it necessary for you to be on the team storming the tower? I know you've been to Helen back before, but you're still a normal girl. You're my girl. Professor, so that's what she meant. 
course, your mom's not going to agree to all this. You're wrong, Mom. Tita. You should see me for who I, for who I am better than anyone else. I'm a full-fledged engineer, one with the power to stand with my friends and fight. And what if the next target ends up being liberal? Don't you see, Mom? I have to go and do my part because I have the power to do my part. Tita. I know my choice is scaring you to death. During the Hundred Days War 15 years ago, you saw how much Liberlians suffered under Imperial occupation. Awful as it was, you helped me realize the kind of engineer you wanted, be, you wanted to be. You and Grandpa developed military airships to help Liberl stand strong. Even after the war, you traveled the continent to help those in need. It meant you weren't home all that often, but you were doing what was right. Just where did you hear all this? Nowhere, I learned it all by watching you. And just like you, the world around me has helped me realize what kind of path I want to take. I needed you to see me off, though. See me as I embark on the path I believe to be right. There's no changing your mind once you made it up. It's cute, but it's a pain. Must have gotten it from your dad. You win. I'll see you off, but only if you listen to this one piece of advice. No matter what happens, don't give up until the very last moment. You know you can do this. You're my daughter, and I love you with all my heart. Oh, Mom, I, I love you too. Thank you. Oh, and here's a prototype of a death beam gun. Take some sun grenades while you're at it. If things start to go south in the tower, take, take, out, take out the cherry top and let his corpse pave the way to your survival. <laughs> Mom, you're scaring me. <laughs> like clockwork. All's well that ends well. See? All's well that ends well, it seems. I'm happy he does I'm happy Tita got her mom to recognize her skill and passion. It's a big relief, yes. So is she okay with her going or not? <laughs> You're so cute, Elfie. They're an amazing mother-daughter duo, aren't they? Yeah, but I think you and the chairman make quite a pair, too. She gave you full authority on this, right? It's not as grand as you're thinking. She just said in her usual clip manner. Use whatever the Reinford has that you want. And hey, she said it, so I'm gonna do it. I'll do whatever's in my power as a daughter of the Reinberg Company. You're amazing. <laughs> we'll be counting on you then. The CGF also thanks you for the weapons and orbital boat you provided. I'm just happy to do what I can to help. The future belongs to all of us, so we need to work as a team to get it back. I couldn't agree more. And let's continue our side of the preparations. As much as I don't like how the war helped evolve Reichland's military tech, in times this turbulent, we can't leave anything off the table. You have, you have the company's full support. We'll be as well equipped for the infiltration as we can possibly be. My mother's granted me full authority over the company. Might as well make the most of it. I was relieved to finally tell my mom how I feel. I'm not sure how I... I'm not sure if I... I would have had the courage under different circumstances. That's understandable. I'm happy for you, Jita. Good news. Repairs are all done in the orbital gear so I can roll out whenever. I just want to see us get, thi get things going. This infiltration mission will be successful. I just know it. I feel so much more relieved that I had honest talk with my mom. Now I just want to get things going. This infiltration mission will be successful. I just know it. Erica. My little angel's all grown up. I'm so proud, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me a teeny bit lonely, too. Oh, Adios, now's not the time to gripe, is it? I know she's about as safe as she'll ever be, so I need to have faith and put my full focus on getting my end of the work done. The rest is up to you. Go out there and make us proud. We won't let you down, Professor. We'll see this through to the end with Tita. I'd better hop to it if I'm going to help up this operation's chances of success. I'm trusting you to take. I'm trusting you all to take good care of Tita. So go on out there and make us proud. Can I talk to you, Hilbert. Can that divine lightning really strike anywhere on the continent? I think it'd be so unlimited in its range, right? We also, you know, fortress get wiped out. Really, guns were demonic enough. Something like this should not exist. The loss of life would be catastrophic if fires down upon a heavily populated area. Yes, it would. So no need to go to any other floors. Okay. Next district.
E Street. I'll get everybody on the roads first, like like usual. I finally go outside now that the EDF is out of the picture. I didn't know just how much I needed the fresh air until I could breathe it in again. I feel so much better. If only we could take care of the Supreme Leader's off-the-wall plans as well. If we're going to attack the other countries. What's going to happen to Crossbow if we screw up? We'll counter on our assault, and then we'll be knee-deep in war all over again. Cut us some slack, please. We're trying. You wander. This is wrong. No matter the reason, we can't oppress people like this. Power must be wielded responsibly. Using it to bend others to your will is as wrong as it gets. Well, things in the city are looking much better. Chairman Moore has wanted us to go around and let people know we're distributing supplies once the situation's calmed down. We'll figure out how to distribute evenly if we get a big line. You want loud? I got you loud. Let's turn this volume up! What's up, people? The Business Owners Association is out here handing out supplies every day for free! For free! Keep it down, you're being too loud. Yo, how's it going, CGF chick? What's up, Blasi? I'm sorry about him. We're helping out the Business Owners Association. He's just a little too excited about it. Enough, enough that we'll be turning people off from freebies at this rate. What? Come on. How do you expect people to get excited if I'm not excited? Logic sound? I'm sure you'll have people lining up in no time. Just try not to disturb the public much. Keep moving, I'll get checked. Got it. We'll make sure everyone knows we're here to help. I don't know if you noticed, but all this, all the people who were saying weird stuff before, back to normal. We'll take the rest, or we'll take over the rest around here. So good luck, SSS. Let's guess it was a good idea to stop by the city. I'm ready to cave in some, cave some skulls in. Hell yeah! That's not what you're doing. I'm not much for shouting, but Luganov is right. We have to do what we can to help cheer everyone up. He has been dying to stand in front and sell ever since he took refuge. You won't find a truer merchant than him, and that's why I respect him so much. Whew, I'm getting all kinds of pumped up. Come on, come on, we've got some killer sales going on. We're talking 90% off, baby. Is it actually 90% off? I highly doubt it. Things are still a mess right now, but we should be getting stock getting we should be getting stock in from all over tomorrow. So to make room for the new for the new, me and Etna decided to sell out our current vegetable stock ASAP. So just take some, you thieves, it's on us. Oh cool, literally giving it to me. Are you sure? Sure as can be. Just make sure you eat them well. Wow, thank you so much. It sounds like these when we merchants gotta go generous. So come on, we got some great bargains over here. What you got? This isn't 90% off. 90% off would be only four Mira. Cheap skates. Becky and Kleist Becky and Kleiston Co. have both made it possible to st finally start restocking at last. He partnered up with the Business Owners Association, and whatever they did, it paid off big for the rest of us. It all proves that business is nothing without making connections with the people behind them. How is the vanilla stuff going? Hope was right. Giving away all our vanilla Yubeshi was the right move. I'm happy people are now paying more, but more than that, I'm happier people like how it picks. If, only you sell, if you only sell something to make a profit, you're bound to sell nothing at all. Try to sell something you love. It sounds obvious, but it's one of those obvious vital things you lose sight, at, sight of after a while. Us sending out free vanilla Yubeshi is paying dividends, because we got more orders than we can handle. Only now we're fresh out of stock. I need this talk to our supplier ASAP. 
Vanilla Yubeshi has this really nice, welcoming sort of flavor. It's hard to describe, but every time it puts a smile on somebody's face, it puts a smile on mine, too. You're not out of stock, you have one right here. <clears throat> I was holed up at home during the occupation, so you have no idea how much I missed to grow up here. Once I'm done eating, I gotta get right back out to making deliveries. Sucks, but there's no use cop complaining about it. You gotta work to eat. Huh. Why is Duvely the only one in, in a casual outfit? And the others are wearing full armor. Goodness, it's wonderful to see you all again. Duvely informed us on the details of the meeting. We'll also be participating in the operation. That's great to hear. Can you gals really stick out like a sore thumb? We can go wherever you want, thank you very much. You know what they say about fighting on an empty stomach? We were a threat to this land during Crossbow's last bid for independence. I won't allow anyone to disturb our fi master's final resting place. I swear it as the head knight of the Stall Ritter. We promised to lend our strength during this operation. Indeed, we may have crossed blades before, but we, but we hope our strength proves useful, SSS. And the same goes to your friend in the sunglasses. Though if you waver even a little bit during the mission, I won't hesitate to plunge an arrow into your heart. Do what you must. But, but I assure you, I do not intend to pull any punches. Understood. We'll be counting on you, Knights of the Stall Ritter. Who'd have thunk we'd someday team up with them back when, back when we fought them at Stargazer's Tower? I certainly didn't, but I'm glad to have them on our side. By the way, Duvely, about the operation. We have an idea. Do you mind if we head out after this? That's fine. Do you have a, what kind of idea did you have in mind? You'll see. They still haven't gotten in touch with us, so things are still up in the air. Sounds like the Star Raider are preparing for the operation. We need to make sure we're ready, too. They got something... They got something cool in store. Can't wait. Although we have to do, uh, quite a bit before then. I see we have a number of Bracers joining us for today's operation. Between them, the SSS, and the man in the sunglasses, this is quite a unique group of people coming together. I suppose I have no choice but to place my faith in you all and that fool in the sunglasses. I expect you to lay your lives on the line for this, understood? Now go and watch your backs. Pretty sure same bit, yep. I figured I wouldn't be needing my armor for a stroll around the town. Judging about how you two are dressed, I'm not sure I should have bothered. At any rate, I'll be in top form for the operation. See to it that you do the same. People. Rishia, it's really you. But you brought the SSS and some other friends, too. Thank goodness, I was hoping to see your face when you came here, Shan Shan. Yep, I came back with the speaker and everyone else once the city was liberated. And he's finally back to his old self thanks to you and your friends. Sniffle, I'm so happy. Please forgive me, Shan Shan. I didn't mean to cause you so much worry. You too, Fen. I don't know what came over me. We're just glad you're back to normal, Master. Yeah, we all wanted. All we wanted was for things to go back to the way they were. At last, it seems like the effects of the brainwashing have worn off. That's a huge relief. Admit your debt, everyone. This isn't nearly enough to cover it, but please take these. Rice and tofu. Wow, these look delicious, and fresh too. Hey, can I have some? Can I? My word, at least sit down first. I heard this was all because the Supreme Leader was using some kind of dark powers. But it can't be that simple. It must also have been because I lack resolve as a chef. Which is why I'm going back to basics and starting my training over from scratch. This is your way of atoning for what happened, Master? In that case, I'll join you and do the same. And he's going to retrain himself. He might even become a more skilled chef than ever before. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine it. Super Zhang Hui. <laughs> Not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but I think we're all looking forward to trying your father's new and improved cooking. I know you still have, fu still have to fight, Rishia, so I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But I know you can do it. I'll be waiting. Thank you so much, Shan Shan. I'll be waiting. I'll be back before you know it. 
The owner's back to normal. Shan Shan's home safe. I feel like I can finally breathe easy again. Not that there's nothing left to worry about, of course, but this is no time for chefs like us to be slacking. If the owner wants to retrain himself, I'll be right there with him. Not important. I know Shan Shan had a difficult time as well. I'm relieved that she's okay. Now's the time for me to retrain myself through the art of cooking. I'm going back to basics and true. I'm going back to basics and truly reassess my drive as a chef and a man. I believe in you more than ever, Rishia. I'll be waiting for you to come home, okay? And good luck to the rest of you, too. Make sure you all come back safe and sound. Anybody else here? There's one more person in the back room. Hello, random tourist. This has been one crazy vacation. I really owe it to the owner for letting me stay stay here throughout it all. He must have been worried out of his mind for his missing daughter, but he's shown me nothing but kindness all the time. Who's been amazing for how little I paid too? This must be the best inn at the whole on the whole continent. Hmm. This must be the best inn on the whole continent. I can't believe can't believe how good they've been to me. One day I'll have. To I have to repay them for their kindness. It wouldn't sit right with me if I did it. Let's get out of here. Fishing shop next, I guess. I guess we can see if there's anything unique here. I don't have any business in the upland at the moment. Okie dokie. Fish. I guess West Street's planning a food drive while the Business Owners Association hands out supplies free of charge. Ain't it amazing how people can come together? We'd best do our part at the Fisherman's Skill while we're at it. The branch manager and the others went out to try to find ways to co cooperate together through co cooperate together through the power of fishing. You might want to head over to the sandbar in Ursula Road if you want to catch them. But hey, if you do, lend a hand while you're at it, yeah? Appreciate it. If I'm not mistaken, the branch manager and the others said they were going to the sandbar in Ursula Road. If you're going to run into them, try to help them out if you can. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Sounds like a side quest. Nine Bali Exchange. Yeah, Jaegers. Good to see you, young master. You as well, SSS. I see you're here to prepare for the operation. Ah, oh, hell. I really botched the timing of her bumping into you guys. It's been a while since I've seen you, Zax. What's... What, since the last independence scuffle a few years ago? Still too soon, if you ask me. Come on, Cam, don't be like that. Not that I blame you after last time, but business is business, you know. Yes, but this contract has nothing to do with the young miss or Commander Sigmund. It should be enough to satisfy you. So you're saying this is the job your squad took on personally? I haven't forgotten the Red Constellation were the ones who had, who were contacted to attack Crossbell City and set it ablaze. But I also realize there are more pressing matters than what happened then. We'll take the firepower on our side, this time. My sentiments are the same. We'll borrow your talents as long as you don't intend to do any more harm to Crossbell. We can discuss how you can atone for your sins over two years, over two years ago after we've reclaimed our futures. Damn, you guys know how to hold a grudge. I have my own thoughts on Mr. Orlando's actions, but either way, business is business. We look forward to working together. The plan is for us to provide backup during the operation. Don't worry, this is strictly business. We'll do our part as long as we're getting paid. Here, Garcia Rossi is helping out. <laughs> he and I clashed constantly back in the day when he was running with Zephyr. Never thought we'd end up on the same side. It's got a funny way of working out. Gonna use the rock launcher again, right, Mama? That's yeah, great. Make sure you hold on to the rudder, Jingo. This is a good chance for you to test out your airship handling during mid-air combat. I can handle a dogfight. That thing looks pretty beefy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. You know they're talking about the same operation we are, but that doesn't make this conversation any less unsettling. Well, this is my favorite customers. 
So you guys are working with the SSS too? I suppose so. It's a long story. <laughs> Good to be working with you again. Well, look at that. All our guests of honor in one place. I'll even sell you the top shelf stuff, so be sure to take a look. Yeah, but make it quick. We've got prep work to do too, you know. Seeing as Mama and I have split off, I've, I've got to decide how to put Cerberus to use. About time he started pulling his own weight. I think I'll put him on support. I haven't trained him yet, but I bet he could manage the Gatling gun if I asked him to. Anyway, now that that's settled, it's time to get this load aboard. I've kept Cerberus standing by, so I better contact him soon. You know, I've been mean to say this for a while now, and I mean it in the nicest way possible. But the way you guys always manage to pull through is unreal, if mildly terrifying. I've gone on, I've gone on my fair share of adventures with you all, but this one makes the rest look like a walk in the park. We're in deep. Not that I think it's a lost cause. If nothing else, at least I'm putting, I'm putting the Argo through its paces. Just be sure to give him a hell out there, alright? He's can do while I'm busting my ass on the home front. <laughs> I hope we meet Jinko and Cerberus again in later games. Nothing in the bargain then, huh? Nothing here is that important. Only thing I might want to get would be more, uh, more of these recon gems. Unless there's a better version, then we'd also need recon gems to make it. Resupplying is going to be pretty tough once you enter that tower. Make sure you're as ready as can be. The future's sort of riding on it. Don't worry, we can buy everything we need in the Reverie Corridor. Bracer Guild. Yeah, there's all the Bracers and Sharon, for some reason. There you are, Instructor. I had been wondering where you were. What's up? Hey, perfect timing. How so? We just managed to get in touch with the Bracer Guild HQ in Lemon State. The Supreme Leader went and declared war, so now the Guild has gathered its forces, has, has to gather its forces and step in. That's another factor that puts how dire the situation is into perspective. The guild is acknowledging that this relates to the entire continent by getting involved. Well, it's not like everyone here represents the guild or anything. Some people just like to stick their noses in other people's business. Why, whatever do you mean? I really thought that it would be best if I could help if if I could help the Bracer Guild and Reinford group coordinate. Yeah, they're missing the eye again. The Reinford group would be more than happy to provide as much equipment and information as possible, naturally. Uh, I had I had to admit it. Uh, uh, most likely hate to admit it, but that would be a huge load off our shoulders. Even that special train they set up between here and the Empire was a, was the work of Reinford and Kleist and company. So I gotta hand it to them. You mean the one bringing supplies in? Kaz and I has gone a long way at calming down the chaos in the city. Not that it will last. Things are only going to get worse until we do something about that tower. So it really stings if we can't expect any help from abroad soon. I know, HQ is one thing, but getting in touch with each country's branches has been tough with all the chaos. I wouldn't expect anyone to make make it their own make it on their own, seeing as most man's transit is still down. Still, I'm not giving up just yet. I'll keep in contact with who I can to reach, who, who I can to reach, who I can reach to have us all on the same page. That would go a long way. Hey, uh, it's Michelle, right? It's Michelle. We're gonna give it our all too. Exactly. Let's keep making our final preparations and not leave anything undone before we begin the operation. Good thinking. We should all make sure our, not to neglect our equipment either. And Volley's right across the street, so we can drop by later to stock up. Got it. Let's get this done, people. There was an update. Can't help but wonder how things are going over at the IBC. Shall I check on Tita for you? It's no trouble. I was already planning to meet up with Lady Aliso when we were done here. Thanks, but that's alright. I don't want to bother her when she's busy. You don't have to be pushy to show someone you're there for him. Well, that's pretty suggestive. My, how romantic. Whatever, think what you want. 
Anyway, you all better be ready for this. There isn't going to be any turning back. Everyone just loves screwing with them. Sarah, keeping sharp. With Calamity just around the corner, Sarah shoots the equipment to reach out to the Guild HQ and fellow Bracer. The fellow Bracer, singular, is in working order. Michelle, contacting HQ. Michael is quick to reach out to Bracer Guilds for HQ for reinforcements after Supreme Leader Rufus's declaration of war. How do you, how do you screw that up? Whoops. Actually, that reminds me that I got a hold of him recently. He let me know he's booking it to make it here as fast as he can. He might make it with a little luck. Just crossed. Goes without saying that it wouldn't hurt to have him in our back pocket again. A hold of him. Yes, him. Him could pretty much mean anybody, but possibly could mean Cassius. Braces are all as dependable as ever. Not that I expected anything less than the best from them. The only thing left now is to execute the plan. I shall, of course, lend you my aid however I can, meager though it may be. An 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 animal index. Because I'm pretty sure that's a K, not an L. So you know, I have my bracers doing jobs to help around the city. They all have the reasons for coming back, but they are, they've always had one thing in common. They want to protect Crossfell. No reason we can't all work together, right? We're going to stick this one out no matter what happens. Leave. Alright, a couple more buildings. Squeeze in here. Hey, it's Becky. And Hugo. Is that you, Becky? Hugo? What are the two of you doing here? Long time no see, Reen. Why the dramatics? Isn't it obvious? We're here to conduct business. Herman Morris told me that Crossbow Shore and Supplies due to how limited distribution was during the occupation. I figured they could use a hand once the city was liberated, so I brought as many goods I could wrangle up. Even Edelin or Farm pitched in. Only sour thing was I was running around the Empire, making my preparations, and this jerk had to go and spot me. Please, you know as well as I do that cooperating was the right thing to do. You never would have gotten a low enough price on daily necessities to hand out if not for Kleisen Co. Are you little? It works out swimmingly for us. You've been hoping to gain ground in the Crossbell market again. It took quite a bit of mirror, but I'm glad we're, ba we're back in the good graces of their business owners association. You do realize that sort of talk makes you sound like you haven't learned your lesson. You two are the same as ever. Anyway, we'll be cooperating as best we can with the operation. We've already spoken with the RMP and have a little surprise prepared. Such is the life of being Thor's graduates. Let us know if there's anything more we can do to help, Reen. We will. I will. Thanks a lot. I hate to admit, but I learned a lot by partnering up with Tyson Co. I'll pick up as many tricks of the trade friend as I can. I'm gonna let him gaffer me around forever. I'm gonna come become the top merchant and have him crying out for mercy. Brian Oot for mercy. <laughs> Oot. Working with Becky isn't so isn't so bad. Becky's network isn't so bad. It tends to give as good as it gets. Though I will say I have no intention to renew our contract once this one is up. He and I are still rivals after all. I'm not simply going to do business in her shadow. Well, anyway, Thor's network updated. Becky. Becky Association, a go-getter and a Thor's graduate. Determined to turn a better profit than her rival Hugo, she started up her own business association, supporting businesses. Becky reaches out to her Thor's contacts to bring loads of goods to Crossbow and distribution halts, displaying her pure, brilliant entrepreneurial spirit. And then Hugo, Clayson Co. The Clayson Co. heir and a Thor's graduate. Though their rivaling may appear bitter to some, he and Becky are on friendly terms. Foresight, Hugo departs the Empire to focus on Crossbell's incredible business market, proving his business sense to be sharper than ever. 
As soon as the city was free and communications were restored, Becky rang me up right away. I knew she was quite the capable young woman, but I was still gobsmacked by how many supplies she managed to secure. It's not just her who's impressed me. Troy's begun to think proactively about the Business Owners Association as well. Why, even the young people who used to be delinquents are volunteering to help now. Between the SSS and everyone else, Crossbill's fortunate to have so many good eggs within the next generation. It certainly makes my life easier. Hey Chessmaster, how's it going? <laughs> I really filled up the side damn straight I did. It couldn't leave no space unturned. And I'm not even sure if this is, uh, everybody. I'm pretty sure some people either aren't here or, uh, Reverie, or, or our Reverie Corridored. Let's see. Can't believe that Becky actually decided to join forces with Kleist and Co's very own Hugo Kleist. She told me the two are rivals. Which I certain, certainly believe, given all their bickering. Still, they seem to have a good report, all things considered. Boy, I am glad the Zerabonians showed up when they did. If this thing turned out into a, turned, if this thing turned into another war, we'd be dealing with more shortages and price hikes, and nobody wants that. Though I thought to try and maintain some order, figured maybe if I distributed supplies or some such, folks would calm down. But I was clearly in over my head. I goes to show just how much I still have to learn as a salesman. Well, can't beat myself up for doing my best. Still, I could really stand and take a page or two out of those Erebonians' book. I just can't express how grateful I am that those Erebonians showed up when they did. I mean, it's partly because it's for another potential business opportunity. I was so scared listening to the Supreme Weeda earlier. But Roy said it'll be okay. We just have to get through this as best we can. If my former wheeler big brother says it's fine, then it must be true. So I'm going to focus on helping him one his stall. <laughs> oh, and guess what? So many nice people came to help us without work. With Roy and all, and all those other kind people here, there's no way anything bad will happen. <laughs> Adorable. Gotta go through the apartment building. Hey, Fran. Hey, Noe. Hi, everyone. You came to pay mom a visit, too? Aw, oh, she has a generic sprite. Fran told me all about, all about the mission to stop the tower. You two and the SSS will be taking part, won't you? You're fine with going up against something so dangerous. Um, I've seen you two off, in, off into danger countless times. I know you'll come home to see me, but that doesn't stop a mother from worrying. I won't sugarcoat it, this is a dangerous mission, but that doesn't mean we're without hope. More importantly, if we don't put a stop to that tower, we may lose crossbow for good this time. I have to do this, Mom. I have to see this through to the end, even if it means pushing myself to the limit. No, he's right. I feel the same way. I never had to navigate an operation like this from the water, but I'm going to do everything I can to make this mission work. I won't tell you to not worry about us, Mom. All I want is for you to also know that we'll be coming home. Oh, Noelle. I know you will. I can see it in your eyes. I know it must sound like I must sound like a broken record at this point, but I'll never stop believing in you. Best of luck to you two. I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon, Mom. Just watch us. I swear on, on my police badge that we're going to pull this off. Good luck out there, Noe. As much as I don't want to see you go, I'll be rooting for you from from here the whole way. Thanks, Fred. We won't let you down. I can tell you two have made up your mind. There's nothing left for me to do now but cheer you both on from the sidelines. I'm sure you'll both come back safe and sound, but even so, be careful. My little brother Azo came running over as soon as the city was freed. He looked so riled up, I was scared he'd gotten into another fight or something. 
It turns out he'd been helping helping out with the operation, together with his buddies from his gang days. Sigh. I thought he'd finally mellowed out after getting a job, but I guess he's he's as rambunctious as ever deep down. I'm sure it sounds like it, but not that it's necessarily a bad thing, I'd argue. Right? These days, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Seeing my little brother act so foolhardy has actually been kind of inspiring in a way. Even if the situation has worsened, we're all still moving forward. We just have to keep our eyes looking straight ahead. From what I gather, Adso and his friends are over in the Harbor District trying to make themselves useful to the CGF. I think I'll go over and help too once I see a good window of opportunity. They're making food. Are you telling me there might be another war? If that happens, what are they going to do with Father? Sniffle. I, I can't take this. Hey, calm down, Sunita. I'm pretty scared too, you know, but I know everything's gonna be okay. Grown-ups are all trying to stop that from happening right now. They won't let anything bad happen to us, I promise. You mean it? <laughs> you sound so mature. Compared to him, I'm still just a child. I want to be an amazing stockbroker like Father when I'm older. I got some growing up to do if I want to be a real woman. I can't let you go be the only mature one around here. I feel like that was supposed to be in a uh, mental dialogue box, but okay. Elzo and Serena don't cry when things get tough. That's why I, I'm not going to cry either. I can't let you grow up faster than me, Sniffle. I swear I could be a big girl's patient and tough it out too. Kitty. Very small kitty. When Crossbow is under siege, my... My throat is just burning. I need to drink more water. Too much talking. I've been talking for an hour and 42 minutes straight. When Crossbow is under siege, my head would often feel light and foggy. It was really bothersome. Thanks to my family and neighbors looking out for me, I feel a lot better now. I just hope I can repay the favor to them all, all one of these days. I've been in such a cleaning mood today that I tidied up not just our apartment, but the lobby too. What can I say? It feels nice to do good things for other people. I don't intend to stop there either. I want to help my family and the other residents however I can. I've been keeping my distance from any radios or monitor cars around town for a while now. Hearing it was safe to tune in again, I decided to turn on the radio just now in a shock by what I heard. The leader is such a selfish man. He should be more considerate of ordinary people. The Supreme Leader is dead. Long live the Supreme Leader. According to the Crossbell Times, I guess you guys in the SSS are gearing up for your big operation. Be careful. I wish I could do more, more than just root for you all, but, but know that plenty of us are waiting for your safe return. Thanks, Bond. Your thoughts are more than enough, I promise. According to the Crossbell Times, I guess you guys in the SSS are gearing up for your big operation. Yeah, be careful, I wish I could do more than root for you all, blah blah blah. We go. Next area, I think. Finally. We have like two more streets, I think. Oh no, we have three more. We have central we have the central square, we have the entertainment district, and we have the residential area. The citizens are relatively calm for mm. being so close to a large dangerous weapon. It was like that with the Azure Tree. And the days leading up to the last war, too. I think they just get that it's better to focus on how they can help rather than panic. Humans are strong in the most unexpected ways. <laughs> you said it. Feels like I've woken up from this awful nightmare ever since you were free from the EDF. What about that tower, though? Do you could keep enemies shaking in their boots the way the Empire's railway guns have? No, no, I don't think like that at all. I know it's for the good of cross, but a weapon that can slaughter left and right sits awful with me. I truly hope the Supreme Leader rethinks using it. Oh yeah, they technically don't know he's dead. Not all of them. Because of the uh, pre-recorded messages.
or at least they think he's working in the shadows, firing the gun, or he's in the or he's in the big tower firing the gun. Probably the last one. Day feels a little brighter now that the Evan Defense Force has been run out of town. Retro, 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 whatever. Still gives me the willies though. Well now, how goes the SSS today? I ran the crossbow times that you and a few other folks planned to put a stop to that thing. Makes you feel guilty how you are always getting saddled with the tough jobs, but I can also rest easier knowing it's on you. You know it. Thanks for the encouragement. Just leave it to us. I would like a balloon, please. The occupation being all o all over means the Supreme Leader was just blowing smoke, right? Suppose he shouldn't be paying the whole thing any mind then. If I got time to think about what I could have been, what, what could have been, and I got time to hand out balloons and put smiles on kids' faces, I would like to get a balloon, please. Would you folks care to purchase some balloons, by the way? Yes, give. I would carry it all around town. I've been the least horrible vacuum cleaner from ZCF for some time. Manager agreed to order one for me right away. Talk about customer service. That's what Fernand has always been. Caring and willing to help when you need something. I don't know what I'd do without him. I feel like she had that dialogue before already. What am I, five? <laughs> At heart. Not mage. Not even close. I truly love shopping a store from the bottom of my heart. All the employees are so kind and helpful, including the manager. I'll always be, lo I'll always be a loyal customer of Genten's. The Yemen Defense Force pulling out means the former Governor General's uprising has been stopped, right? It's hard to ignore how similar the situation was to what happened a few years ago with Dieter Croy. The players are always destined to come toppling down sooner or later, no matter how hard they try. No one's upstairs. I have to admit, the situation with Rufus Alberea reminded me a lot of what happened with Dieter Croy. No matter how hard they try, Dictors always end up getting toppled down so toppling down sooner or later. Yeah. Hi there, welcome to the Genten Herbal Store. I'm so relieved things aren't as tense as they were before. Crossbow is supposed to be a bright and hopeful place for everyone. Anything else just feels wrong, you know? What you got? Nothing. Hey everyone, congrats on the whole liberation mission. That was nice work. Sure it's a big relief to not have those EDF weirdos breathing down my neck anymore. Still, I can't believe the Supreme Leader was hiding a crazy weapon like that up his sleeve the whole time. It's totally nuts. Even things couldn't get any worse than they were. Well, if he thought we were going to just roll over, he's got another thing coming. Don't worry, me and the rest of Gen the Genten crew plan to keep helping the police the best we can. That includes doing some ornament tuning, of course. Don't be a stranger if you need some upgrades. This United Nation and super weapon business have gone far enough. Let's bust the whole thing down and show them what crossbones are made of. That's the plan. We'll put a stop to this, Wendy. One of the cops told me that you guys are about to embark on some big operation. This is me off seeing those guys bring out that giant weapon thinking they can boss us around. Let's put this whole thing down and show what crossbones are made of. Black Sumerian ore. Again. So that seems to be our uh, final thing. Yeah, Black Sumerian ore cost. So we'd probably just get it for all the people that we would like to get for like all the all the people that actually use that junk you definitely need more U material though we're kind of poor in that regard uh, how much or how much stuff do we have we can get another chrono burst if we want the, the, the Oracalum of this game. Uh, Oracalcum, but yes. Yes. A 
Hey kids, good seeing you. And you, Chief. We just wanted to touch base. Looks like the cleanup of those Zabra Soldat remains is done now. Yeah, knock on wood. Red Constellation came in handy for once. The city came out, came out as unscathed as we could hope for. Pretty ironic. Pretty pretty ironic them and Croy would be the ones coming to the rescue after setting the place on fire once. Yeah, Idios works in mysterious ways, but they're hired guns at the end of the day. They go where the mirror is. Well, I should be rolling out of here soon. I need to hook up with Dudley so we can start going over plans for the big operation soon. Sigh. What's a guy gotta do to get a smoke break around here? It's a few minutes to breathe, too much to ask. Look at the bright side. Missing your smoke breaks is doing wonders for your health. Physically, maybe. Not a smoker alive thinks it's good for their lungs, but we sure as hell need it for our sanity. On a serious note, I hope you kids know we're standing at an impasse for Crossbell and its future. So maybe laying off the smokes until this is all said and done isn't a bad idea. Won't want to jinx anything. You must be serious if you're about this if you're willing to give up smoking, even if it's only for an afternoon. The chief without a cigarette in his hand just doesn't feel right. All the more reason we should pull this off. I'm not sure enabling someone's bad habit is a good reason to go stop a super weapon, guys. <laughs> just like old times. Don't worry about me. You kids get back to preparing for what's co what's to come. You're gonna need it. Taking the city back was a test for the police, but what comes next is gonna challenge all of Crossbell. Look alive and knock him dead, kids. I want the best... I want... I only want... Yeah. I want only the best of what the SSS has to offer, got it? Yes, sir. Sergey update. Stay sharp out there, yeah? Doubt you need me to say that at this point, though. Mission all hinges on the strike team getting the job done. That means you. So don't worry about anything about what you... Don't, so don't worry about anything but what you all can control. We'll take care of the rest. Uh, I guess he is a part of the SSS, isn't he? Sergei Lou, superstitious. Sergei resolves not to smoke until the operation is complete. He wouldn't dare say that unless he knew they were going to succeed. Our weapons orbital systems took a pretty heavy hit against the Zabra Soldats. Gendon was quick to make repairs though. We we're really grateful they were they were there when we needed them. Hmm. Uh, is it just me or people like legit hating on Rufus right now? I thought we were all really into him. I guess people don't like all the stuff he's been doing. But people can hate on him hate on him all all they want. I'd still hate it. Girl, please, not if I get to him first. Look at that, you're so popular. It's certainly interesting to hear. <laughs> the worst part of it being Rufus's number one fan is no one ever, like, gets him as much as me, you know? Are you sure about that? Uh, hello, Earth Rufus. But busting out a weapon that crazy is a little too gross. <laughs> The uh, Harold. I <laughs> don't have a witty line to respond to this. <sighs> yeah, I, I I'm I usually blank out for lots of for for witty uh, comments a lot of the time, so I get the feeling. Oh thank goodness! It's so good to see you're all okay. Good to see you're hanging in too, Harold. So I guess you just you guys just. Make it back from ma from mines? Made it back. Yeah, so I was worried about the state of the city, so he came here to lend our support. That aside, I received an update from the Guardian Force. You're all turning your attention to that super weapon now that the city's been freed, is that right? It is. The situation is less than ideal, but we can't afford to give up yet. You'll always you all have always you you all always have been so strong. I can't even begin to tell you how much that strength has saved me and my family. Here, I know it's not much, but I want you to have this. Potions. Goodness, this is so much. Thank you, Mr. Hayworth. We'll use it wisely. I'll never use it. I can't help you from the front lines the way all of you can. But I'll do anything in my power as a traitor to help people in the city. And if I know my fellow crossbellans, they haven't given up yet either. I'm cheering for you 
I'm cheering for you all with everything I have. May Adios be with you. Thanks. Crossbow hasn't given up me, myself included. Yep. I got to know Hera while doing business in America. Now we're business buds. Investing in him has been worth my while, let me tell you. He's not the only one worth his while, though. Whatever Crossbow needs, I'm here to help. Hi guys, I'm glad you're here. I want to say thank you, because you're why I can be with mommy and daddy again. So thank you. We're so grateful to you for everything you've done. I couldn't have put it better. You saved us so many times at this point, and you give us the courage to keep going. And your kindness is the reason we keep going. Really? And I gotta thank you bunches more. I'll keep cheering you on. If it parade, go SSS, go class 7. Everybody gets cheers. Wow, even us? <laughs> I love it. I'm all fired up thanks to you. Hip hip hooray. Yo, everybody. One of my MWL co workers convinced me to come back home early. They thought Mimi would miss me more, so I was amazed to see how well she was doing. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm glad she's been so comfortable, and I'm sure it's because of you. Where's Cope? Cope is nowhere to be seen. I wonder where Cope went. He was here just a second ago. I must have wandered back to the SSS building at some point. I'll have to treat him to some delicious fish later for always keeping an eye on Mimi while we're out. I don't see him over there. We also have to go in front of the train station. Yep, she snuck back in. It was Pattery, wasn't it? Thank you so much. I never expected you to get in contact with workshops and our partnered stores in Erebonia. Don't mention it. Too bad I wasn't I, too bad I wasn't able to get in contact with all of them. I wasn't, but yeah, go on. I just wanted to help out the department stores and Cynthia as much as I could. Regardless, we are truly in your debt. Eric told me much about you. I now see just how much initiative you have. You think? Well, I'm a gal who gets things done. Well, if it isn't Machias and his little friends. Don't go eavesdropping on me when I'm talking about my heroic exploits. You know we weren't trying to... Though it's good to hear your your job at the department store is going well. Thanks, that place has looked out, out for me, so it's only fair I pay my dues. Oh, and I already got my workers visa renewed, so I ain't going anywhere. I hear Cargo's doing some part-time work while looking for something permanent. So, nothing's really changed for us two. We're still both finding our ways in life. Best of all, we can still get together and catch, catch up over, over some good grub. Maki is the street. I sure hope the accountability inspectorate pays him a good salary. Well, as long as you're hanging in there, that's what matters. We're not completely out of the woods yet, out of the woods yet when it comes to the tower incident, so take care of yourself. <laughs> I don't need a goody two-shoes like you to tell me that. You guys stick to, stick to your guns too, you hear me? No best take care of business, and if you need a good pep talk, I got some smacks and knuck knuckle sandwiches here with your names on them. Alright. <laughs> Pattery's an incredible young lady now, isn't she? She's always quick to take the initiative. I don't need to kick myself into high gear with her around. A reliable employee. I was so surprised when Pattery came running here from Erebonia. And here he was, sitting here moping about the future while she was out there making her future happen. I'm a little ashamed. I have to take a page out of her book and put in the work to carve out my own future. Huh, I never thought she'd sneak her way into Crossbell under these circumstances. You really never know what she'll get with Pattery. Uh, but I digress. I just need to focus on what I can to contribute to this mess. My wife, is invi my wife was invited to help with making emergency provisions. And after talking it through with Neston, we figured out a way to offer out food for cheap. <laughs> I love my job. I know I'm Erebonian, but to be honest, I like the idea of Crossbow paving the way to the United Continent. But now that I really think about it, it was very foolish of me. Did I learn nothing from the war? It's so embarrassing. 
There's nothing worse than oppressing others through force. I can't believe I even sided with the Supreme Leader for a minute. I know we're no longer under occupation, but things still feel pretty touch and go. Oh well, all I can do in a situation like this is keep selling food to people who are looking to buy, you know? If I get myself too wound up about things I can't change, I won't even have time for my own business. What you got? Jilly Pecky and nothing else. Have I really been talking to you about the Supreme Leader that much? Are you sure you aren't just imagining things? Are you kidding me? You don't remember? Well, it rings a little bit of a bell, so maybe. But I've been so out of it lately. Oh, never mind. How about we for forget about him and start talking details on our honeymoon? <laughs> sure thing, sweetheart. Let's. I've been feeling pretty out of it these days, but I don't have time to figure out why. I've got a honeymoon to plan. What are you selling? Honestly, I don't know what happened, but I'm just happy my Janetta is back to normal. I've already come up with all kinds of ideas for a honeymoon. Can't wait to share them with her. We missed a, a lot of uh, Moonless Morn chapters, although maybe they're viable in all the towns around Crossbell. Because we had like chapter like one through like one through eight or so. But either way, Crossbell Times Emergency Special is uh important. Page Turner completely filled out the book section in the notebook, but it, it excludes the Moonless Morn book according to the achievement. All right, crossbow times. Emerge. Let's see, breaking news. Major areas liberated, including Crossbell City. Thanks to the combined efforts of the Crossbell Guardian Force, Police, Bracer Guild, and other volunteers assembled from various areas, Crossbell City has been reclaimed from the Na United Nations government as of, as of press, press time this afternoon. The operation kicked off yesterday as the group neutralized... Ebon Defense Force strongholds located in Mines, Michelin, and the Crossbell Police Academy Prison. With the capital city now retaken as well, vital locations in all areas of the region are officially liberated, bringing the new government's week-long illegal takeover to an end. Breaking news, massive tower appears in Lake Elm. Not long after the liberation mission was deemed a success, an enormous towering structure suddenly, dis suddenly appeared in the center of Lake Elm, reaching more than an estimated 500 arj high. Its size is more, that more than double that of Orcus Tower. You know Naval Fortress annihilated. Immediately after the mysterious tower's surprise appearance, it shot a massive beam of light into the sky targeting Yuno know, Naval Fortress, located in the Arab Arabonian Empire's La Mer province. The base was bathed in a shower of light before vaporizing it in, vaporizing in short order, leaving not even the slightest trace of what once stood just moments prior. Luckily, despite the immense damage, recent Imperial dr drawdown and related military reshuffling efforts meant that no units were stationed at the fortress at the time of the blast, averting what could have been a calamitous loss of life. The Supreme Leader's Proclamation Just moments after the fortress's dramatic defense, Supreme Leader Rufus Alborea took to the airways to, in a broadcast transmitted across Sumeria to, to reveal that the tower, known officially as the Retributive Tower, was constructed by his government in secret. Should the other nations of the government refuse to participate in his United Nations initiative, he warned, he wouldn't hesitate to deploy it on another target. International, major nations in state of alert. Following the Supreme Leader's declaration, nations throughout Sumeria entered into a state of emergency as they scrambled military forces and began to evacuate citizens in select areas. Reporters located across the continent tell the Crossbell Times that countries have geared up for war once again under circumstances not unlike those seen six months ago. All eyes are on the Republic of Calvert's response to the ongoing situation in particular, with the tower's next potential target set to set to fall within its territory. The Republic has rapidly deployed its main forces along its border with Crossbell prepared to lay siege at a moment's notice. When the safety of our people is under threat, newly inaugurated President Roy Gramhart stated, it is this government's duty to not only neutralize that threat, but also ensure that the aggressor pays an appropriate price for their actions in return. When prompted for their analysis, Why one do I suddenly feel as though all the joy has been torn from my body and replaced hey, how's it with going? screaming terror? I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow for D&D. Where was I? 
uh, and also ensure the aggressor pays an appropriate price for their actions in return. When prompted for their analysis, one government took sort. One government source took these words to signal Calvert's intention to stage an armed intervention in Crossbell. Breaking news, Crossbell to conduct, conduct infiltration operation. Just a month ago, right as this issue was about to go to print, the Crossbell Times received the word that Crossbell's provisional legislature with the agreement of the Imperial and Republic, Republican governments has authorized an infiltration operation into the Retributive Tower. We'll report back more, with more information as this story develops. Today for you, Lamau. Well, actually, let's see. What time is it for me? It's 11.42. It's not, it's not today for me yet, but it will be in 18 minutes. Alright, anyway, done with that. Let's talk to more people. Like, um, like what? 30% of the town to go? I finally managed to get in contact with my family in Lemon. I couldn't begin to tell you how much of a relief it was to hear my parents' voices. Crespo really is a magnet for trouble. Nice place to live in, though. <laughs> Nothing new. Here are news from an old friend close to government sources. They say even those in the EDF weren't themselves. The only problem left is that weapon above the lake, but I'm not worried. No matter what troubles we face, we have the those youngsters in the SSS to protect us. The Yemen Defense Force has finally left the city. It's like waking from a terrible nightmare. But if that divine lightning is activated, it's clear as a cloudless day we'll have a new war on our hands. We have to do whatever we can to avoid that. I don't want any more, peop any more people being sacrificed to war. But all I can do is cheer on the people capable of stopping this madness. So I'll cheer until my lungs give out. We don't stop that divine lightning? Yeah. We don't need to buy that. It was a time when I was supported the Supreme Leader's plans, but now, no thank you. I might be from a completely unrelated country, but even I'm sick of all the pain and sadness this is causing. And I'm not the only one who feels that way. That's how everyone should feel, period. A tower sure is something to what whip out at right at the last minute. That divine lightning is just awful, too. He wants to rain down judgment? No, he just wants violence. I know the world doesn't run on hope, but I just can't accept this. Though our supposed supreme leader had an eye for good before, but he's all, he's all but lost me on this one. No new junk. Get out of here. Anybody interesting in here? Not really. I think the city would feel so wide and open and free without the EDF. At the end of the day, we crossbones have got to be the ones to protect our city. Now to enjoy my coffee. Meanwhile, Death Laser is uh, a few hundred feet away. Well, more like a few thousand, but close enough to where it's a problem. Step. I read the special issue of the Crossbell Times. We got all kinds of headache-inducing problems to deal with, but I was starting to feel a little bit, bit of hope there. But, you know, Crossbells aren't quitters, myself included. Nothing will ever be so bad that it'll knock us down, knock us down for good. I'm always gonna get up and sip this here coffee like it's a damn good day for change. I'm sure things will work out just fine. Don't need proof. I just know it will. Not if we get the regular ending where everyone dies. We gotta get the true ending where everyone lives. I personally don't have a problem with weird or monster parts as ingredients, but customers are a different story. We can't lie to them, though, so we're letting them know that it's a seasonal dish instead. As long as they don't ask what's in it directly, we can get corners with that. Call it our way of being considerate. So I went and made a new menu item since we can't get our hands on ingredients these days, and customers love it. Its name, you ask? 
monster flavored condensed pasta with a fair dollop of mystery sauce. Or that's what it was called until Nono made me change it. Now it's nature grease pasta with emerald sauce. Personally, I feel the name ha I had gave it some charm. I wonder what she didn't like about it. The mystery sauce. Well, whatever. All I gotta do is keep making dishes that'll make customers happy. And then one day I'll become I'll become the kind of chef they put in magazines. And I'll be a hit with the cougars. That's how that's how I know I'll be living the good life. Well, I guess this guy has a type. <laughs> I can't help but worry about how Salteo will handle coming up with his with new ideas on his own. But as long as Nona's is there to steer him in the right direction, it'll probably be all right. I'm just so happy I'll be there to watch the next generation for this cafe live in, live and in person. Oh, live and in person. Dang it, words. I don't plan on retiring just yet, but it's always a joy to watch the next generation come into their own. Buy pasta. Tastes like those slimes on the road. Alright, you. You got any new weapons for me? Well, if it isn't the SSS in Class 7, quite the interesting group of faces got tagging along with you, too. If anyone's going to get the situation under control, it's probably the Star Star lineup you got in your hands. I'll look you up if you need weapons for what's ahead. Just give me a holler. Get out there and show us what you're made of. Thanks, Garon. That's the plan. We appreciate your assistance. It's going to take a Star Star lineup like yours to get the situation under control. I'll give you new weapons if that's what you need. Blech. Words are hard to say. Field Hanfa. Striker mode only. Neat. I don't have them for whatever reason, so just, just buy them, you know? Where's the kitty? We need to find Cole. In the jukebox. Check the roof, I guess. Might have a different, like, map. Possibly. Also, interacting with the runes might do something. It's entirely possible. Oh yeah, the Golden Mishi statue. That's like something from, uh... Girls in Azure, right? Same with this. Complete. Huh. It's an animal meeting. If only we had to speak with animals. Hey, it's Sight and Cope. Who are you? Who are your new furry and feathered friends? That's incredible. The mere sight of this scene is warm and fuzzy enough that my heart melts. Greetings. These creatures wish to watch over your heroics. They were drawn to one another and became comrades. Though in the case of the one named Cerberus, he's here because his master told him to spread word about their store. <laughs> of course. You don't say. They've always got you doing the weirdest jobs, huh, boy? Hey, Zio. This guy is his partner, Zio. Is he trying to tell us something? This one in particular is quite sharp. Indeed, there is a fair wind blowing. Fair wind? You guys would know. Fear not, you will understand when the time comes. 
Hey, I want to know how to talk to animals too. Let me join. Me, me too. I've always wanted to have a conversation with Cub. Can you dumbasses hear yourself? We're, we're in deep shit and you want to shoot the breeze with some animals? Oh, come on. They weren't just animals. There are families and allies. There are friends and allies too, you know? Well said. They may not be human, but they see themselves as your compatriots nonetheless. I myself was never meant to align with the interests of humans. But circumstances have led me to become a police dog, and now it's my duty to stand with you all. I intend to protect this land's future. Thanks for always having our back, Zite. We will let you down. Added Zite too. Mankind's strength will be what cuts forward a path to the future. It should be acceptable to lend my assistance as a police dog until that time comes. As always, my best wishes are behind you, SSS. The same goes for all our comrades. It's a it's a it's a shame they didn't go with the uh Like like are they st I I'm pretty sure they're not doing the uh, trails in the sky uh cat language still even though they 100% should be. But yeah. Thanks for the positivity. Ooh. Scree. Looks like Zeal's all pumped up. Good. Because he's as much a part of this expedition as we are. God guarding the police dog hell of a job change. Well, what, what is, wasn't he like supposed to guard the Septarian and the Septarian's now gone? I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay in a, an A job, right? Otherwise it's boring. Oh, are you gonna be in charge of watching the store for a while, buddy? There's no reason you saying that should make any sense. <laughs> And yet it does. Well. West Street. I read the Crossbell Time special issue. There are folks out there working hard to stop that insane weapon from firing. It's the SSS and the rest of those young men and women who truly care for our beloved Crossbell. With them here, I feel like we'll be able to overcome whatever obstacles that try to stand in the way of our freedom. I know I'm up there in the years, but seeing them all do that seeing them all do they do what they can makes me want to as well. But uh, maybe that maybe that dialogue was correct and I just misread it. Possibly. Now that being said, I gotta do something. I'm going to head to the cathedral and pray for their operation success. It's my inflection, which is the problem. I knew you could do it, Lloyd. The other police officers told us you were the leader of the big operation. Thank you for saving us. <laughs> I wouldn't call myself the leader, per se. There were a whole bunch of people. Some you know, some you might not know, like people from Erebonia. Exactly, and there's still work to be done. That means you're up, okay? We need the JSSS to pick pick up our slack. Frankly, you kids are more on top of it than most adults around here. Damn right. Dio wasn't kidding around. I'll need you to look guys to look after Ken and Nana for me, okay? But remember, if things get too scary, it's still brave to run to safety as fast as you can. We or the guild will make sure to come to your rescue. Ah. <laughs> okay. We'll help, but we won't go too crazy either. Yeah. Be careful, okay? <laughs> it was totally worth doing what we could could as JSSS, but people are really starting to count on us. But yeah, guess what? Cheru can come home now. It's a relief that I don't gotta be worried about how she's going anymore. Alright, we're gonna do whatever we can to protect everyone's smiles, just like you guys. Cheru is a vaguely familiar name, but I can't put my finger on where. So I... So, uh, ra random small NPC. I'm also going to help out as a member of the JSSS. But if Rio and Henri are ever in danger, I'll make sure to stop them, so don't tr so try not to worry. Just watching everyone makes me feel braver. We might not be able to do a whole lot, but we can, st we can still do the best we can. 
the only other people outside are over here. The Brick family and uh, Ren's old family. Hey guys, how you holding up? We're still alright. So you three met up with Sophia? We just happened to bump into each other on the way back from taking care of a few wanted monsters on the highway. And we were just on our way to help with the food bank preparation at Belheim. We had talked about having Estelle and Joshua over for dinner the last time we went out to eat with Ren. But at the accident that we we would run into each other again so soon. There is. Honestly, I wish the timing were a little better so we could hang out. Huh? You mean you're not going to come to eat with us at Belheim? I wanted to do something to thank Ren for saving me and my friend. That's awfully sweet, but I don't ever recall saving you. But you know that's not true. Plus, Papa said you saved him too. Uh, what am I going to do with you? Aw, oh, you guys are even closer than I thought. Would it be alright if we drop, drop by after our next big mission is complete? We can also try to squeeze in a small visit as we do our next set of rounds. That? We could do that too? Oh boy, you always were a softy, Joshua. Of course, we'll be watching for you for, to come. We'll be waiting for you to come home safely. Be careful and good luck. Added Ren 2. Lunch date. Ren bugs into the Hayworths as they help to distribute emergency food, and Khan expresses his hopes of sharing a meal with her later. I didn't think we'd get an opportunity to spend to spend together like that until it was all over. Let's do whatever it takes to put an end to that tacky eyesore of a tower. I can't even enjoy a simple meal with that hideous thing looming over us. What a killjoy. I'm glad to see Sophia and her family are doing so well. We should get back to patrolling the city. There's bound to be some kind of job that needs a brazier's touch if we look hard enough. Almost definitely. It's good to have have you two back back in town to help out. Ren Hayworth, yeah, Bright is better. <laughs> I can agree with that. Hay Hayworth is such a uh, posh sounding name. I noticed something interesting earlier as I was going around looking for ways to help the residents. People were already doing what they could to help one another. It boosted my spirits instead of the other way around. Imagine that. Crestbones, uh, Crestbones have always had such strong spirits. Maybe that comes with the territory of living someplace with so many ups and downs. Alright. Buildings. And I think we'll just save the entertainment district for last because I'm getting tired. And then we could go up and down the highways, investigate the towns for uh, any new junk. An event. Phew, I think we're finally done with our cleanup work. Well done, Oscar and Bennett. Not quite the firefight we had outside the bakery. At least now we could finally reopen for business, right, Bennett? Right. It's certainly been long enough. Still, it's only a matter of time until this brief calm is shattered again. Huh? What do you mean? In the end, Crossbow can't survive without Supreme Leader Rufus to guide us. Are you still possessed? We were so close to attaining everlasting peace. Why must the police and CGF keep trying to prevent that? Take a breath. What the heck's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? How can you be so ignorant, Dad? You've seen that tower. As long as we have that, nobody will think twice about trying to lay a hand on Crossbell ever again. Am I seeing what I'm what I think I'm seeing? No, not Bennett too. Oh hey you guys. Thanks for coming to everyone's aid once again. I'm sorry to say we're a little preoccupied at the moment. We're not open for business yet. I think you got more pressing issues than opening the bakery right now, Oscar. Is Bennett alright? Well, as I'm sure you've noticed, the rest of the townspeople are all back to normal thanks to you guys freeing everyone. For some reason, Bennett still hasn't snapped out of it. Oh no, that poor girl. I guess the effects of the brainwashing haven't worn off for her yet. Yes, although such cases are quite unusual. Maybe somehow the brainwashing resonated so deeply within her mind that it failed to wear off when it did for everyone else. Is such a thing really possible? I think so. 
Brainwashing probably controlled people by amplifying whatever anxieties they already had deep down. If so, Bennett must have been carrying some serious worries about something. I could explain why her mind still seems to be shackled by its effects. When you put it like that... I have noticed that Bennett's been a real big worrywart for a while now. He kept making me swear I wouldn't go off and do, do anything else dangerous, maybe because I got injured during the war. It has to be it, I imagine. Where are you, Rishia? She, she's invisible. She used her, uh, she used her craft. She must have, she must have thought that if, an, if another war broke out and you got drafted again, you might really never come back. I could see that being the root cause of all this. Yeah, and also she's invisible too. And then the brainwashing happened to hit at the worst time and it spiraled out of control. She's talking from outside of the door. <laughs> you just just open the door. You could you could be involved in the conversation and not just chime in. Or outside, outside what? We have the whole shot right here. Everybody that's talking is here. Damn. The real question is, how do we help her? Maybe Lap is so, so, super short. Hey, it's okay, Lloyd. Don't worry about it. I think of an idea what to do. But those of the bakery have our own unique approach to solving problems. And by that, you mean... Baking contest? Yep, I'm gonna bake some special new bread just for her and have her eat it. This won't be any old baguette either. The flavor is going to be so out of this world, it'll bring her back to her senses. Pretty lofty aspirations for a loaf of bread, if you ask me. Well, I suppose we won't know until we try, even if I am more than a little skeptical. Actually, I think he's on to something. And it's a beggar, too. If Oscar could somehow deliver a shock to her system that speaks to her pro to that pride, it could finally cure her. If there's anyone out there capable of such a feat, it's certainly Oscar. Well, I'm convinced. I... I've actually been preparing to make this spread just in case it came to this. Who knows how well it'll work, but it's definitely worth a shot. The only problem is that I'm having trouble finding all the ingredients I need. It's going to take more trying to track them down. I'm sorry to make you wait, Bennett. Hang in there just a little longer. Hold on, Oscar. Let us help. We can track down what you need. Are you sure? You guys must have your hands full of getting ready for your next big operation. Do you really have time? That's irrelevant. At this point, we won't be able to concentrate on the operation until we get this sorted out. That said, we'd rather not have any regrets once this plan is underway. Much as I'd rather not have yet another thing to worry about, I guess I can deign to help. Us too. Count us in. As long as he gets some of that yummy new bread for ourselves, I'm happy to lend a hand. You guys, I don't know what I did to deserve this. Thank you. Now, since you've been kind enough to offer, I would big time if you could score me some native bellberries. What are those? Yeah, I'm curious to know. I've obviously heard of bellberries. That's a common enough ingredient, but native ones? You see, most of the bellberries you find are actually artificially cultivated. Native bellberries grow in the wild. Not only are they hardier, but they possess a different flavor, too. They've become tricky to harvest lately, though. Maybe the local vegetation has changed or something. I asked people who know the area around Amorica, even people who travel Mines Mountain Path, and came up empty-handed. In that case, they could be growing somewhere along Ursula Road. Let's try searching some places that haven't seen much human activity recently. We may have some luck that way. Smart thinking. Thanks again, everyone. I appreciate you all taking the time to do this. I'll leave procuring the berries to you. Okay. My throat, and by extension, my sinuses are burning. So I am going to call it a night after two and a half hours of dialoguing. So I'll be back later to hopefully finish most of the dialogue. We shall see, because I think we have to go through a bunch of towns as well. So good night. Till next time.